Hey there YouTube, Chris for the HandyGuard channel here. This video is about using the Voice to Text app, which is a Windows software. It comes with uh, Windows machines. It was on mine, and I have Windows 10 running on an older HP laptop. Right now what you're seeing is just a website that's open, uh, David Stockman's Contra Corner. I like to read a lot of the stuff he has and sometimes I'd like to make notes and it takes a little bit longer to uh, write things down of course typing is slow for people like me that hunt and peck so I've been using a voice to text app and this is how it works if your machine is like mine you go to your start menu to all apps open that and scroll down to Windows Ease of Access, open that, and Windows Speech Recognition, start that. And you should get a, a little pop-up, which is your voice recognition control. It went to sleep, so I'm going to say, start listening. Start listening and now it's listening you can move it around if it's you know of course it's just a typical app you can turn it off you can minimize it so it's listening for commands that it can execute but what I want to use it for is just typing what I say taking voice and turning it into text in order to do that, I have to, uh, I thought I could open something like a, a word processing program. I have Open Office, one of those free uh, where type. It's not Microsoft Word or Office, but it's very similar. So I use that a lot. But what seems to work well with this app is Notepad. And it will recognize a command like open notepad and it pops up with a notepad that's open so it's listening to everything I say now and it's going to convert what I say to text select all delete It didn't recognize that quite well enough, so we'll say cancel. Cancel. Delete. Delete. There, I got it that time. Uh, sometimes it, you know, it, it may not recognize everything you say, whether it has to learn your voice or it has to do with your particular pronunciation. In any case, uh, you can also select and, and right click and do all of the usual functions. It's still listening. And you can backspace, 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 just like you were typing things on your keyboard delete that again um, but let's say I wanted to take some notes select all delete so there's an elephant in the room and it's called the Federal Reserve that none of the GOP candidates were willing to talk about at the debate last night period They had to bring in Rick Santelli just to mention it. Notice how it recognized his name and capitalized it. So it's got some capabilities that will help you as you're trying to compose something. Period. Enter. And commands like that will initiate just as you would with typing it on the keyboard the command. 
Now if you want to be more selective, you may have to use your mouse and or keyboard to, to augment what it can do for you. Use your mouse and keyboard to augment what voice to text can do for you. One, okay. Period. Stop listening. Now it's gone to sleep, so at least it won't continue to type what I'm saying as I try to explain what I've learned about this little app. And now I want to, I want to print it or something. I'm going to have to open another uh, program. In this case, it's the Open Office that I've been using. I'll let that open and I'll open a text document. It's sleeping and unless you, unless you actually turn it off, it will stay asleep waiting for you to say a command that will wake it up. So we'll open a text document and bring my notepad back up. Start listening. Select all. Copy. Paste. And it took everything I had and pasted it into a Word document. So now I can change the font and the size of the lettering. Although, unfortunately, now it doesn't have all the functionality in this document that it did on Notepad. I don't know if it's because uh, it's not a, a Microsoft product. OpenOffice is not Microsoft. Maybe Microsoft Word interfaces better with their uh, voice-to-text app. Because I kind of wanted to use this to type directly into my text document. So far I have not figured out how to do that. But you can type into a notepad and copy and paste it over. And then do whatever you want with it. Uh, change the character of what you've got. Size, color, etc. You know, centering, everything. <clears throat> so it's it's pretty functional in that at least on notepad get rid of that it works very well to convert voice to text into a notepad period stop listening so that's it that's how to basically get started using your voice to text app it recognizes a lot of common commands like file open save I have not tried print yet but it may be able to do a lot of things like that for you if uh, maybe your mobility is limited or you have a hard time typing or if like me you just want to dictate your thoughts without having to sit there and type them out. So there you go. That's how to basically get started with it and play with it, find out how it works, uh, enjoy the app. I didn't know it was there until I, I discovered it. So I'm sharing it with you and I hope this helps. Uh, if anyone has a comment or you have more information about how to use it, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. And thanks for watching.